Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I have a, another episode of What She Wanted versus What She Got. This is a set we're going to be recreating today. She wanted this, but in square and a little bit shorter. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna try our best to do it as exact as we could. And this set is for sure an acrylic set, you could just tell. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, I actually have some new gels from Nail Reserve LA that I'm going to be using for this video and I'm going to swatch them right here for you guys. Um, they're so pigmented. They're honestly the best gels ever and I do have a code in case you guys are interested in purchasing from them. Um, it's just like, you know, the best quality gel polishes. You guys know this. I don't talk about them in all of my videos, but I do use them in every video. Almost every single video I use these gels because they are literally the best, um, the best pigmentation, the best everything you guys can just tell. They're definitely just a one coat gel. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch these little swatches and, um, then we'll get into the tutorial. So we already have our base down. I already went ahead and got my nail tips and these are the nudes we're going to be using. 271 from Amazon. Um, I'll put it in the description and then number 19 from Nails Blink Supply. I did already buff my tips and put the base coat and then put the nudes on top. You guys know that's usually the step I always do um, or those are the steps I always do. Um, but I just didn't want to like put that part in because I feel like it gets kind of repetitive or boring. Um, I did take that green color from the beginning and I'm going to be using that color to mix with um, a little bit of white to create more of a light green. It's going to create the most perfect uh, color that we need for this set. And I'm going to be doing a French tip on the pinky just like the original inspo. Um, I, I do always freehand my French tips just because I've gotten to the point where I can freehand. But you guys, I've went through so many methods of French French tip if you guys have been here since the beginning I started in the uh, at first like painting on the whole nail or like more than half of the nail and then cleaning it up uh, to create a smile line with like a little rounded brush I started with that method and then I started with and then after that I moved on to the a method where you do two lines on the side one in the middle or wherever you want your smile line to end and um, you like connect them that was the way that got me to start being able to freehand my smile lines. I did the A method so, so often that I just was eventually able to just go ahead and um, freehand it. So yeah, sorry, I'm like talking so much about that. Um, I did grab a little bit of my nail reserve. I think it's called electric yellow and I'm going to be uh, mixing it with some white to create this yellow color that I want. Um, I love mixing my colors, you guys know this. If I don't have a color, I will custom it and make it myself. I'm really good at color theory and mixing colors to create different shades and different undertones and everything like that. I'm really, really good at it because I did paint uh, like on canvases before I even started doing anything with nails. Um, so that's a little fun fact in case you guys are new here. But yeah, so we're going to start off, uh, start with this color and we're going to do the same thing, a French tip right here. And I'm just trying my best to get the French tips as even as possible. You guys, I still struggle a lot with getting my French tips 
super perfect sometimes i really do struggle really bad there's just some days where i can't do it and if it's like really bad to the point where my friendships just don't come out good no matter what i will honestly leave it till the next day because sometimes you just can't you know what i mean like sometimes it's just an off day and everything's going wrong i always have those days so don't feel upset if you guys have days like that too um but yeah so we're gonna be doing that on the middle finger Next, I like to utilize the gels I already have on the table that I already mixed. So because I already had that more greenish toned or neon yellow for the middle finger, I went ahead and added a little bit of orange to it. That color is for sure called Electric Orange from uh, Nail Reserve. And I'm just, I added a little tiny bit because I'm just going to be um, mixing it in and it gives it more of like a mustard orange color, which is what I needed for the ring finger. So we are just doing that. I just mixed it together. I had already painted it nude and I didn't realize that I was going to need to paint it yellow so that was my mistake but um, it's no problem we could just paint it over so yeah I'm just doing the yellow and I'm just applying it with the same brush you guys I honestly always mix my colors brushes because um, one you can just like wipe off the extra uh, gel that's left on the brush on the table or anywhere wherever you're doing it on your paint palette to get rid of ma the uh, majority of the color but when it's colors like this that are really similar or like yellows and oranges and things like that, if you have like a little tiny bit left on the brush, if you use that brush, uh, like the brush that comes in the bottle, it's not going to alter the col the rest of the color in the bottle because it's not enough gel to do so. If that makes sense. So if you guys are scared of mixing colors, if it's only like a tiny bit, it's not going to do so much. The only colors I definitely wouldn't recommend it with, like mixing colors with in the bottles is like a, a red because red stains anything and it will like alter the color and like a dark blue. Those are the only two colors that I would recommend. And of course white, I never use my white bottle, brush bottle for anything uh, or bottle brush for anything. So yeah, I just wanted to say that really quickly in case you guys see me doing it and you guys are confused or curious. Um, but yeah, we grabbed a few different pinks and we are going to be mixing them to create the pink that we need. Uh, I needed a little bit more of a magenta color. So I think I grabbed Fashion Avenue. I think that's what it's called. I think it's either called Fashion Avenue or Wilshire Boulevard. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know. I have so many like gel polish names that are similar or like that remind me of each other. So I, I didn't even see what the name of it was, but that one was from iGel Beauty. It just adds more of a magenta undertone instead of being so pink, if you know what I mean. So yeah. We are going to be doing that and I needed a little bit more white so I'm using my white gel and I'm already running out of this. If you guys watch like all my videos you guys know I just repurchased a new white gel and I already need another one. Like I already went through it. I do so many white French tips to the point where like my gel runs out so fast. Like I already need to get a new one. Um, I was actually using it today and I was like oh I definitely need to get it because it's empty already. But yeah, so we're going to do a French tip again on the pointer finger and I just do it super quick. Um, I kind of have gotten to the point where I'm pretty good at eyeballing where the smile line needs to be to make it even with the rest. It honestly just comes with practice because that's all I've been doing is just doing so many French tip nails to the point where I could kind of get it down uh, without having to look at it so much. And honestly, something that's kind of weird is when I focus too much on what I'm doing, like when I focus so hard on like making the smile lines perfect, that's when I end up messing them up, if that makes sense. I don't know how to like how to explain it, but it's just crazy how that happens.
Now I'm going to be grabbing some more orange and we are going to be mixing it with a little bit of the yellow because we need a light orange. So because the oranges are, I mean, because the yellow that I already have on the table is kind of a lighter yellow, it's going to be perfect to mix with a super bright orange to create the same orange that I need. So um, yeah, I'm going ahead and mixing those and now I'm going to be doing a French tip right here on the thumb and this is just going to be a plain orange French tip. Um, like I said, I like to try and utilize the colors I already have on the table. So to create the same orange, I could have just added a little bit of white and it would have made it almost identical to this color But since I already had the light yellow or the lighter ish yellow on the table I was like if I mix this with orange, it'll come out perfect and it'll be the exact color that I need So yeah, always keep that in mind you guys don't be afraid to mix colors and try it to just just to see if um you know, you'll end up with the color that you need because there was a lot of times in the beginning when I was a beginner or I didn't really know too much about color theory when I would mix colors and they would actually come out to exactly what I needed and I would never expect it. Like it was honestly crazy like how uh, just mixing colors makes exactly what you need. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that and I'm trying here to just even out my French tips. Sometimes something that I notice with my French tips, the way I do it when I freehand it, one of the sides always ends up being... Uh, a little bit thicker than the other side and so I always have to even them out before I cure it So with this hand, I'm already going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of base coat gel. This is what I'm going to be using as my blooming gel. Just because I need to get a good blooming gel. I have one, but it's just so, so thick and so sticky. It just honestly doesn't work so well for me. So, um... I am just using a base coat gel. It does work pretty similar and it works really good. You just need to make sure not to use a, such a thin layer. If you use a really thin layer, it won't bloom the way you want it to. So maybe just like try adding a little bit of a thicker layer. That's what I did and it worked pretty well. So yeah, I'm just going ahead and doing that. And I clean up the sides as I go because for some reason with blooming gel or with base coat gel, the sides always end up getting so full of product. Like it drips off to the sides when you're... Uh, colors are blooming and then you have to go back in and clean it up so i always like to clean it up before and after just to make sure my shape doesn't get altered or uh, i don't get any extra lumps or bumps on the sides of the nails because i want my shape to stay as crisp as possible so i'm grabbing a little bit of that uh, more neon or green and now i'm grabbing a little bit of this red color this one's from dnd i've had it for so long and i'm mixing it with a tiny bit of this neon kind of reddish neon orange from Enel Couture and I'm just using a little bit because I needed a bright red that was almost like an orangey red so I tried to make that color and I feel like it came out pretty good uh and now we're just going to be doing the little blooming details I don't know if this is considered like crock print um I don't know what you guys think but I don't know what this is exactly called it's just this design that's super trendy so uh, I'm going ahead and I think it's like snake print probably but yeah I'm just going ahead and doing that and I'm gonna let it bloom on its own but it is gonna take a while with regular blooming gel it usually goes faster and in the inspo picture um, it did have the light green right there um, in the middle of the other green so I just added a little bit of that as well and I'm trying to help it bloom because it wasn't really blooming and um, I had to add a little bit more base coat gel. It just didn't look exactly like the picture. Like in the picture, it wasn't so perfect. Like how mine is like the circles, like it needed to be more spread out. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was trying to make it better.
Now for the thumbs, um, she did send me a picture of what the thumbs look like. So I just went ahead and did the dots. Um, they're little dots that actually go from bigger to smaller. Uh, from the tips, they're bigger and then down to the cuticle area, they go smaller. So I was just doing that right here with my dotting tool. This is the best way to get the perfect circles. Um, and yeah, you guys, I actually did want to say I have no idea who the original creator is. The picture that I showed you guys in the beginning is exactly the same picture that she showed me. So it's kind of like what I do is kind of like the same thing as when you like, would go to a nail salon or to someone that does acrylic nails and you show them a picture and they just redo it for you. Uh, that's basically what I do, except I do it in press on nails. So I will try and replicate it exactly, uh, but it will just be as press ons. That is like kind of my, that is my specialty in case you're new to my channel is I make sets that are acrylic or, uh, like pictures that are done with, like, I don't know how to explain it, but basically you guys, I can't talk her today um pictures of acrylic sets uh i re replicate them for my customers in gel polish for press on nails because um there's a lot of people that prefer press ons over acrylics it just saves time a lot of different things and press ons are just my specialty so that's what i do i just wanted to say that in case you guys are new to my channel sorry it sounds like i can't talk but that's just i don't know you guys my brain is like blanking right now um, but anyways, we're grabbing a little bit of this Madame Glam liner gel and we're going to be putting it in the center of each one of these little dots. It's just going to be a cute little blue and orange. I feel like blue and orange look so pretty together. Uh, she actually told me that these nails are going to be for her vacation and I feel like they're perfect vacation nails just because of the colors and they're super trendy, which is amazing. And they're just super colorful, which is like so cute. So I think they're perfect for a vacation. And now for the middle finger in the inspo picture, it had a white line around the smile line so we are going to be doing that and i am just basically tracing over the smile line that's already there with my white gel and i will have this white gel linked in the description for you guys as well i use my white gel for everything for like line work but i also use it for my french tips like i mentioned earlier Now we are going to go ahead and top coat over everything. I'm using the Eye Gel Beauty top coat for this one. I literally didn't even know I had one last bottle of this because I had mentioned to you guys in the last video that I don't purchase their stuff anymore. Their shipping is way too expensive and it takes forever to arrive. And um, now their prices are just more expensive too. So uh, yeah, I don't purchase their uh, top coats anymore, but I did have an extra one. And you guys, I'm actually glad that I haven't bought any new ones because now after using Beatles for so long, which is my favorite one, I feel like this one's a little bit too watery for my liking. Like, as you can see, I'm having to clean up the sides because it was already like dripping off to the edges, which I am not used to. My Beatles one, I always clean up the edges, but it doesn't drip that fast over to the sides. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to be going back to this top coat after I finish it. Um, Beatles top coat is my all time favorite. It always works really well for me. So if you ask, uh, if you have asked me on my Instagram, most likely I have replied to you, but, um... I always get asked about my top coat. So that's the one that I use all the time. And yeah, I'm just top coating all the nails before we put the charms on.
For the charms, I'm going to be using my Zule's Bling Adhesive. You guys, I am on the very last little drops of my bottle. If you guys watched my last video, I forgot to reorder my uh, Bling Adhesive. And I actually ended up ordering the little squeezy bottle one this time. Hopefully, it's a little bit easier to use. And I'm really excited to try it out. Um, but you guys, it still hasn't shipped, I think. Like, it's been like that for like a week already or yeah probably like a week i don't even think it's shipped yet so i need to double check that but i definitely need it like i am in desperate need because my bling adhesive barely has anything left in it and i pretty much do uh nails with rhinestones or charms every single day so i'm gonna need it for sure um but yeah so we're grabbing this really cute little bear charm the same exact one that was in the picture the inspo picture but we're going to be putting it right here um and i actually got this little bear charm i think from i think it was shein i think i got it from shein um or aliexpress i actually did it i had it uh i showed it in a haul video a few videos back if you're interested but yeah i also got these little planet charms i think these little planet charms i got from amazon so yeah, I got these. These are super popular, super trendy. Um, and I'm going to be using a blue one on the thumbs and a purplish pink one on the middle fingers. Right here, I was just showing you guys how I add extra glue to my charms to make sure that they are not, uh, to make sure that they cannot fall off of the nails or get snagged on anything. I like to really seal them up, especially these type of charms where there's little gaps uh, that stick up out of the nail that don't lay flat i especially like to add extra glue for these charms i am not stingy when it comes to the glue you guys i add a lot of extra because i would prefer the charms to be literally indestructible and not be able to come off then add a little bit of glue because i don't want it to look weird or you know what i mean so i always add extra on the edges i always 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 add extra so i was just showing you guys i tilt the nails like upside down and then put the glue in the little crevices so that uh you know my customer's hair can get snagged in it when she's taking a shower or like you know it can't get stuck on things because it'll be sealed at the edges so that's what i like to do um you can also i think you can also do it by adding like your top coat at, after the charms are already dry but i just find this way more efficient for me but adding the top coat at the end can also seal your charms so that you uh you know don't have any snagging happening or charms falling off but we are going to grab these little cross charms now. You can get these on Amazon. And I, you guys, I'm going to show you guys a little hack. It was crazy because it was my first time doing it. But the only crosses I had were gold. And I needed them to be silver. So I was like, okay, we are going to create some magic. We are going to hand paint those little charms and make them look like the regular silver ones. So I will show you guys how I do that later right now in the video before we're done. Um, but yeah, we're just putting the cross charms and then I put a little flower and I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other hand And i'm sorry if you guys hear my dog snoring so freaking loud in the background I always have to say like put a disclaimer of like my dog making sounds, but you guys she follows me everywhere She's with me 24 7 like literally with me all the time and she is knocked out underneath the blanket with me right now So yeah, I just wanted to say that really quickly, but I am uh, I always try to like go into my settings right here when i'm editing and lower the background noise so that you guys can't hear it too much but if you guys do hear it i just wanted to say sorry in advance it might be kind of annoying um but yeah
Okay, you guys, here I am adding extra glue to my charms, as I told you guys that I like to do. But you guys, the charms weren't even dry. It was giving me so much trouble. But here I am creating the magic that I told you guys about. I am grabbing my Sissy Gel Polish. And this is like a silver gold metallic melted metal gel paint. It is so, so good. I'm grabbing that on my little brush. And I got it from Nails by Dev's website. That's where I got it from. I didn't get it directly from Sissy's website, but you could as well. Well, um, I just like supporting Dev, you know, because I love her work and I love her everything about her So she's like my inspiration. So, uh, yeah I am going ahead and i'm going to be painting on these little gold charms and you guys they look identical to the silver ones that you can buy like I don't even know how I thought to do this. It was like the smartest idea ever. This chrome gel is so metallic and so good. I honestly love it so much. If you guys don't already have it I literally recommend it so much that you guys like invest in this it is so freaking good, but do keep in mind, it's not like, like it's really, really, really metallic, but there's like something about it where obviously it's not the same as chrome powder. Like chrome powder is just another level. It gives you that super, super mirrored look. I actually had a customer recently that, like I made a set for them with this chrome gel and she was trying to request a refund because she said it didn't look exactly like a chrome uh, powder like in the picture and it was like a whole mess you guys. She was giving me so much trouble. She threatened me. She gave me so much like oh my gosh you guys that's like a whole nother story for like a story time but yeah um basically I love this chrome though. You guys need to get it. It is so good. Look at this it's so metallic. Um, and it's perfect for little detailed hand-painted art. I really really like it So yeah, i'm going ahead and just painting on the little charms. I really wanted it to be silver Um, if I didn't want to go through the extra work I could have totally just messaged her and been like hey I only have gold and she probably would have been totally fine with it She's super nice super sweet all the time But I really wanted to make it exactly like what she wanted and the picture that she sent So I just went ahead and thought to do this and I love the outcome uh, you guys know I love to talk so much, but I just like explaining things to you guys in detail so you guys get it. I hate, like, my number one pet peeve is when I see people, like, on TikTok or, like, videos and, like, they won't go into detail about what they're doing or what they did or what they use or why they use it or how they use it. You know what I mean? So I always like to just go into detail and talk as much as I possibly can because I would rather talk your ear off than leave you with questions unanswered. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that, uh, I love, you know, helping you guys out. So yeah, we're just doing that. And of course I'm just going to cure it in the lamp afterwards. And then I'll be adding a little tiny bit of top coat on top just so that the chrome gel doesn't peel or anything like that. And this is the finished result. As you guys can see, it looks identical to the photo. That's why I love this series that I started uh, what she wanted versus what she got. I have so many episodes on this series if you guys are new to my channel. I think I have probably like 15 episodes already up. So um, yeah, highly recommend you guys check those out if you guys are interested in making press-ons that look like acrylic sets. And now you guys, this is a surprise. But uh, anyway, I'm wrapping my setup, but... Um, I actually have a secret giveaway for you guys for those of you that are still here right now I have a secret little giveaway I'm going to be giving away two packages and i'm actually packaging them here on camera with you guys I was really excited to do this. It's not anything super big you guys, but it's just something small And especially if you guys love nail art, um, this is like some nail art stuff for you guys or new things that you guys can use um, and here we are. We're gonna get right into it right here So I have this pack of really pretty little glitters and i'm going to be separating them for two people So i'm gonna open it. I could have given like one person all of them But honestly, I was like i'd rather separate them because the colors are kind of similar So I was like i'd rather separate them and everybody or the two people get, um, you know a mix of both so I feel like that's a good idea and I'm just going to be grabbing colors and putting them in this little bag um, These are all the colors that are down here on the bottom. So I noticed that there is 12 per row I'm going to be giving a uh, six per row to each person So um, i'm trying to choose the colors for each person kind of trying to make them Similar like making sure that they don't like one person doesn't have like two orange colors or two yellows I wanted to make sure that each person gets like one of each color. You know what I mean? So i'm just showing you guys what they look like They're little glitters and cute little things that you guys can use to encapsulate in your nails You guys can use these for poly gel you can um encapsulate them in gel polish or builder gel if you do press-ons and um 
you could even put them in your acrylic of course and I love the way these look in nails encapsulated nails are my favorite type of nails ever so um I was so excited to be able to give you guys some new little glitters and I love the little jars that these come in for some reason they remind me like of Tinkerbell vibes and I love Tinkerbell so so much that is one of my favorite characters from Disney ever so yeah I'm giving you guys those and then this little charm mix that is mixed with charms and uh, rhinestones it's just a little mix of stones that you guys can use I would really love if you guys created like some junk nails with those charms because they would be so cute a bunch of different color rhinestones or like a rhinestone cluster I also included this Beatles gel polish and this one right here this is like a really pretty color these are all brand new I'm just showing you guys the colors but they are all new and of course you guys know I had to include some nail reserve colors as well so I'm also including some of those but um yeah we are just adding a few things right here I was just choosing but I am going to be including this color right here called the big picture and it is a really gorgeous orange color for spring and summer as well as this teal color I was actually talking to you guys about how blue and orange look so good together that was like a little sneak peek because I knew for sure I wanted to include that kind of color combo for my giveaway so um I'm going to be giving away those two gels this really pretty yellow one that was actually part of I think it was like a Macar gel polish kit um so that pretty yellow and yeah so these are all brand new we've never used them and um I put those in the little baggie and I went to go grab some more stuff that's why like it's like paused right now but I'm I just wanted to talk to you guys I'm really excited to do this and literally all you have to do is comment on this video um just comment like something I'll think of it right now but <laughs> we'll talk about it after but um yeah I put that poly gel in it's a really cute poly gel it's just like a nude color brand new of course and I am also going to be including another poly gel this one's called bronzer and it's brand new I'm just showing you guys so that you guys don't think I like used it um and I think this will be a really great thing for you guys to try out if you haven't already but I did mention in one of my last videos please uh if you're gonna uh, like uh join the giveaway Please make sure that you will use the products or at least try to use them you guys it will make me so happy to know that these products are going to someone that will use them or even if you already do press ons even if you already have nail art you can never have too much because what if you guys need a color like this be like sometime you know what I mean um so if you guys already do nails definitely definitely you know join the giveaway and um yeah so I think all I want you guys to do is comment down below um I don't even know you guys I'm trying to think I think I've already done your favorite food your favorite thing about nails I think I want I just want you guys to comment down below your favorite color something simple just comment down below your favorite color um and please please don't forget to put it with your Instagram name don't forget to put your Instagram name on there because that's how I'm going to choose the winner. I know some people don't have Instagram you guys but unfortunately I just don't know how else I can contact you um or maybe uh put your instagram name and if you don't have instagram put your um email yeah put your email i think i can contact you like that and it does have to be us only i can only do i can only ship gel polishes within the us right now um when when i try to ship gel polishes overseas it does not let me like i think it's considered a hazard or something so unfortunately it is us only um and yeah so we're adding the extra little glitters for the other person and you guys saw me i already packaged up the first one this one is going to have a another poly gel this one's called rainbow it's really cute brand new and then this one is also going to have this pretty beetles gel polish um this is like a white uh milky white color and then it's going to have this one as well this one is like a pinkish uh like metallic and then it's gonna have this nail reserve pink glittery one i love this one it's so so pretty and i love the way that one looks and for the next one we are going to include this really gorgeous green color for spring i love that one it's going to be perfect to for like painting little flowers or anything like that little leaves and then this really pretty purple that is just stunning all these three colors would look so good together so i'm including those three and you guys i just completely randomized both of the giveaways i didn't like specify what's going to be in them and also when you win it's going to be one or the other like i'm not going to choose any specific one for a specific person um but i am also including this little rhinestone uh thing like it's so cute just these little rhinestones and i'm putting those in there as well 
and um, they are glass rhinestones as well. They aren't plastic. So um, we are going to be putting that in there and then closing it up with this nail extension gel. And then let's see what else we put in here, you guys. I don't even remember. So we're going to see. Oh, yeah, the gels. And then I think we're grabbing a poly mailer probably. We'll see right now, you guys. I totally forgot what I even put in or like what I was doing. But yeah, just to uh, to join, just put your favorite color. Oh, we are grabbing some extra stuff to put in. This really pretty blue glitter gel. We're putting that and then another poly gel from Beatles. So we are going to add those in there together. And this is going to be the second one. And yeah, you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys joined the giveaway. And yeah, just comment down below your favorite color. And uh, if you um, are going to join, please put your Instagram name or your email if you don't have an Instagram. And uh, it is US only. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And another thing to join the giveaway, please, you have to be subscribed. Um, so yeah, that's all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.